What's up, YouTube? It's Kenny again. Uh, sorry I haven't made a video, man. I, it's, things have been just messed up. Like, this load was... Uh, they had the times all messed up, and I've just been driving and sleeping and dealing with crap from dispatchers, so... Uh, I apologize for not having a video out. I have been paying attention to the market. Uh, Tesla, man. How about that move on Tesla today? Like, uh, was it up 8.6%, man? Up over to 760 now. Uh, and then uh, Lordstown up just a little bit today. And uh, Hylion, like, it's been, like, the last couple of days, it's been down below the SPAC price, man. And I'm just wishing I had some more money to increase the position on it but I just can't like I have some money but I just can't put it in uh, because I'm, I'm about to have to go home I'm forced to go home Monday because of the APU giving me a hard time again so hopefully we'll get that straightened out this time for the whole summer but uh yeah I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a truck driver driving across the country, researching and trading stocks, and I will not be held responsible for any moves you make in the stock market. Not ever. I'm not your mama, all right? Uh, hit that subscribe button, mash on it, like the video, and let me know uh, how your day went in the comments below. So, yeah, guys, uh, com uh, the, the market today was just like wild. You know, we had the S&P hitting the all-time highs, but at the same time, like, all our stuff is down still, you know. It's just it's just what we're doing right now, I guess. You know, we're, we've got a little bit of green in the, pre, in the post market. And, you know, it's still just a holding pattern, guys. Um, that Tesla move was nice, though. I mean, uh, you know, you had somebody raise their price target up to over 1000 And now there's several price targets uh, over 1000 for the next 12 months. And, uh, you know, more focus is starting to be put on the energy side. And that was the one that everybody was talking about was a guy who was basically valuing it to be over a thousand based on energy. And I've said that in the past, you know, that I think that the solar is going to start doing a lot better in energy. Their energy section is going to start doing a lot better. And, uh, you know, it's starting to play out. I mean, with this big storage by that Apple made for their solar farm you know people are starting to take a little more notice of it and you know I've been saying for a long time that uh, you know Tesla Tesla's more than just a car company you know and that their energy is going to be a big deal at some point you know they've kind of been the residential stuff they've kind of been not really giving it away but they've kind of been giving it away to where they're not making really any money on it and you know it's like you you do that for a while and people see how good it is and creates buzz and then you can get to a point to where uh you're the leader and you can do what you want you know and i think that's kind of where they've been and you know they did make a move where they raised the price of the solar roof and so I think we're kind of heading in that direction right now where they're going to start putting more focus in energy. And, you know, when the the uh, Texas plant opens up and the, what is it, the uh, Berlin plant opens up, they're going to be making these uh, battery cells. And that's really going to give them a head start in this battery store, the solar storage and, and energy storage and so, yeah, man, I'm, I'm feeling really good about Tesla, and I'm glad to have seen a big old bump today. Uh, and then Lordstown released a video. I put it I put it today on my community section of, of them uh, building the, uh, the truck for the Baja, you know. And they just kind of teased it at the very end. You could just barely see the nose coming out of that little garage. I'm looking forward to this race. You can tell they're they're like teasing it they don't want to see the truck they don't want us to see the truck yet and so you know it's coming some pr and some some footage and stuff is coming of that and i'm looking forward to it man it's on saturday uh and i'll be either probably on my way back to texas or maybe back to texas by that time i'm i'm man, I'm, I'm disappointed to have to go in so early it really screws me up because right now it's 
perfect time for me to put this thousand dollars that I've got into some stuff and I can't do it because I'm gonna have to pay for a hotel and stuff while I'm there and I could force them to just let me come in there and uh, pay me fifty dollars a day and make them pay for the hotel room but the thing about that is then they want me to kind of stay around and talk, try to talk me into running loads around town, which I'm not interested in doing. So I'd rather just go ahead on and take some days off and let them get this truck sorted out. I got I got another thing I need them to do to, to my fifth wheel. So uh, it's whatever. I just wish that I was able to stay on the road so I could dump more money in the market, but it's just... You know it is what it is uh my portfolios are not doing great you know obviously hylion's way down and lordstown's down but this big bump from tesla helped me out a little bit today uh oeg not doing real well but i'm just it's going to come you know i'm on a long-term view right now and that's just what it is i still have not yet finish the uh, M1 finance pie. I haven't sat down and I haven't had a lot of time lately. I mean, you know, I'm driving down the road, but uh, sometimes these loads get cut up. Like uh, day before yesterday, I didn't make a video and I had to do like a drop off and a pickup and another drop off. And then I had to get positioned to where I could pick this other one up. So it was just a lot of, it was a really cut up day. And then today, I spent a lot of time this morning because this load was like, uh, I, I dropped the one load today and come to pick up this load and they had the appointment scheduled. My appointment already said that they were going to load it too late for me to make the drop, which was supposed to be today. And then when I got here, they told me that they weren't going to load it till like 1745, which, you know. 5:45, and I started like six this morning and the load supposed to deliver at four so it was a big fiasco and finally I, I just they just said fuck it and pulled me off that load and gave me another one and now I'm finally in a door uh, getting loaded delivering tomorrow in Iowa so I know that's a lot of just bullshit updating stuff but you know not a lot happened today other than Tesla and you know man I'm I'm hoping it continues to run some more tomorrow and gets me up in the green. Uh, you know, right now, this is pretty much just kind of working its way back up to where it was before the correction. And, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, like I said, there's several major analysts that have it up over a thousand in on, over the 12 month period. And I really feel like it's going to be up over a thousand guys. And, the, you know, there's a video I'm wanting to make, and I was going to try to make it yesterday, and I didn't. I want to make a Tesla versus Hylion video. I have some points that I want to make, and, you know, the both of the Tesla videos and the Hylion videos always do really well. So you can expect that to be coming maybe tomorrow. You know, it's a, a good time right now while the, not a lot is happening in the market to make videos like that. So... Uh, yeah, expect that Tesla versus Hylion video, and it's it's not going to be exactly what it sounds like, or what you think it is, but uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. Other than that, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get to a point where I can actually make a video. You know, I got a minute here while they're loading me, but you know, then I'm going to be right back out. And uh, you know, it's a lot of coming to these places in Aurora, where I'm at, Aurora, Illinois. Coming to these places are a lot of like more inner city driving long stretches of like stoplights and stuff like that so i can't really make a video while i'm driving during that and you know it just makes it difficult sometimes so be patient with me sometimes it might be a couple days every once in a while when i get in a spot that's difficult for me to make a video uh jj just made a comment two days and no video and no live stream and it's just guys i i you know I'm regular dude just like everybody else. I got to do my job and some other things come first sometimes. Uh, but I love you guys. Sign up for the fucking Patreon, man. <laughs> Link will be in the description below. Hit that subscribe button. Mash on it. Like the video. Let me know how you feeling, how you doing, uh, what, how your day went in the market. 
and I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.